Good evening. Good evening. Perfect. We're going to wait just a few minutes for the rest of the... Okay. Okay, everybody, good evening. Welcome to the class. This Friday, this is the, the end of our first week of class, so it's very good. And uh, as usual, we're going to check about the platform. That is our first thing. So this is the class of today. Express tip to close a meeting effectively. And here yeah, is a question for you to participate, as usual, at the end of the of the class and uh, you will see there the homework 1.9 so you just need to click 
on the correct option and submit it. That will be everything, okay? So we're gonna check about the attendance now. Let's see how it goes. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Good, perfect. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Ah, okay. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Omaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jessica Janari Cortez Díaz. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Okay, so we are going to start the class and uh, let's check here. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is to discuss. We have discussed already many things about uh, what are the important parts of a meeting, uh, that you need an agenda, that you need to invite the the right people for what you are going to decide, that you need to manage time, that you need to provide everybody the time for them to participate, have a balance, and many things. So today we're going to discuss about how to close a meeting. So in your own opinion, what will be the best way to close a meeting? What are the elements of the closing of a business meeting? I think, teacher, that we need to summarize, summarize the the objectives and the points that uh, were discussed in the meeting, and we need to assign the people who take the actions uh, from this day to the next meeting or something like that. And uh, the last one is to to make sure if it is possible the, to. Uh, say to the people when when is the next the next meeting something like that perfect very good summarize uh, assign tasks and then uh, be ready for the next the next meeting very yes. good important very nice any other comment anything else that we need to think about What, what, what was the question, teacher? Yeah, this week we have uh, discussed and we have been discussing about the way that you need to manage a, a meeting, what will be the previews, what will be through the meeting. So now, what will be the best way to close a meeting and what are the elements that we need to do? What are the steps that we need to do to close the meeting successfully? Okay, well, in my opinion, first of all, uh, you have to set some objective that we'll discuss during the meeting and in the middle of the meeting when you finish to, to explain every topic that you uh, that you are talking about maybe ask if someone has a if someone has a question and at the end maybe um 
make a little recap about the what the meeting uh, talking about. Very good, perfect. So yeah, those elements are very very important. Of course, summarizing and then uh, assign tasks. Very nice, perfect. Any other comment on how to close the meeting? Any other elements that you may believe that it might be part of it? Well, you can make questions about the main idea to find out if everyone understood and then you can set agreements. Maybe. Very good. Set agreements is very, very important. Actually, all the elements that you said are very, very important. We're going to discuss about one that is taking minutes for a meeting. So, of course, minutes in this case, as you know, is going to be about the steps or what we have discussed in the agenda, the agenda result, right? So this is a quick and easy guide to uh, taking minutes. And uh, I'm gonna help you with the first part. Minutes are simply notes taken during the meeting to remind you what was discussed and agreed. They don't need to be long or complicated in fancy language or perfect grammar. They do need to record clearly and simply what decisions were made at the meeting and who is going to carry them out. Some sample minutes can be found at the end of the sheet. It is the secretary's job to take minutes. Well, in business meetings, sometimes what we do is we assign somebody, right? Can you please help us with the meeting? And then the person will be able to take them. And uh, well, we're not going to check into that one. So the first part is going to be for David. Why is it important to have minutes? Okay, what is important to have a minute? It is useful to have a written record of the meeting, what you decide to do and who is going to do it. Uh, memories are uh, memories are unreliable, it is true, even if the meeting is very small and informal. Minutes keep members of the group, especially those, those who were not able to attend the meeting, informed about what went on. Perfect, what did you get on this? It's important to have the, the principal points of the, the all of the matters that were uh, treated in the meeting, all of the uh, objectives and all of the points that was uh, discussed and, uh, and uh, all of the opinions of, or principal opinion that it is a, 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 not, not a resume, but this is a, a, a note from the meeting that it is important to remember what what is using and what what the agreement and who is in charge of everything okay so yes actually this is very very important because as we know uh, sometimes some people that are not able to to attend the meeting but of course the information is also relevant for this kind of people so they need to know what we discussed what we agreed right and uh, the other thing is that, I mean, uh, we need to follow up on those ones. So we make some decisions and in mind that you need to, to convey the message to other people in your team or if you need to, to follow up the next week, the next month about anything here, it's important to have that written so you can just go and look for that one. So definitely this is very, very important. The next one, why, uh, what tasks are involved in taking minutes? This is for Jose Wilfredo Ayala. Not possible. Heidi, could you please help me with this one? Sorry, teacher, I'm driving. I'm Okay, I was, Heidi, no I was oh. trying to, to mute, but was ah, Okay, okay but perfect. Now. Perfect. So, what tasks are involved? What? Okay, what tasks are involved in taking minutes? The basic tasks for the minute taker are taking rough notes during your meetings, writing up these notes neatly, or typing them out, copying and distilling distributing them to relevant people. Keep all minutes together in in a file for future reference. What skills do you need? You need to be a good listener. 
mean a takers often spend more time listening than writing things down. You need to be reasonably confident about writing things down. It's useful to be able to use a computer, but not essential. Very good, perfect. What did you get in these two uh, points? Um, well, the those points are really relevant when you are in a meeting because if, if you are interested in, uh, about what they talk in, in the meeting, so uh, you need to take a note uh, to try to understand what they say or maybe what they want to share with you. And then uh, maybe be prepared for the for the future meetings. Very good, perfect. So definitely, so um, you need to, uh, well, this is very important that you assign somebody to take the minutes at the beginning of the meeting so that person is ready and taking notes, right? Oh, that is important. Oh, this is the person that who's going to do this task. Uh, copying everything right uh, and uh, put everything in an organized way so they can send it after all. And of course, you need to pay attention and... Uh, Sometimes, I mean, you are more, if you are taking the minutes, you are more focused on uh, writing and taking notes that in participating, but of course you can participate as well. So very good. Next one, it says, what should you write down? So Giselle, could you please help me with this one? Yeah, teacher, of course. What, <clears throat> sorry, what should you write We cannot listen to you. It seems that maybe there are some problems on the internet. Possible and not useful. Minutes are not a blow by blow description of what was said. Concentrate on what has been decided and who is going to do it. The purpose of minutes is to record decisions and actions agreed by the meeting. Okay, what do you get on this one? That basically, teacher, uh, the like the central um, point or objective of uh, of taking minutes is to write the most important things. For example, um, what you um, decide to do for X problem, for example, and and who are uh, who is going to do that thing? When, where, how? I think that uh, in the minutes, it's important to take notes about the specific stuff, and not like oh my boss said this 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 and no that's that's useful like the like the the text said. Maybe the central idea is to to write the most important things and specific things. So at the end of the meeting, you can um, read again what you wrote in the minute and maybe just for, for make sure that the, the notes that you took are the, the, the things that, that, are, that were the most important for the meeting. Okay, very good, perfect. So that is it, I mean, Probably a lot of things are going to be discussed there, but what is important is uh, the decisions that you have made, uh, what has to be done, who is going to do which tasks, and uh, maybe some dates or deadlines, things like that. So relevant information depending on the meeting and what were, what was discussed there. So that is very, very important. Thank you, Yusol. Next one says sort of the basics. This is for Dora. Sort of the basic, make sure have a copy of the agenda. If the agenda is produced in advance in the meeting, read it carefully and possible go over, with, go over it with the share beforehand. Have the file of past minutes with you in case any question come up 
about decision from previous meeting. Get a decent pile of paper and some good pens. Make sure you, you've got a, a table and comfortable space with enough elbow from the right end. Okay, what did you understand on this one? Uh, okay. It's a... Uh, uh, it's important to uh, uh, have a, 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 a copy of the agenda. And uh, uh, share the, 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 the agenda with attendants. Uh, the, the place on the is a meeting. Uh, all attendants have a papers, pens. Uh, it, it the place a make a, must be a comfortable space. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. those things are very, very important, right? So have uh, where you want to write, what kind of uh, things you are going to use so you are going to have uh, for you to take the notes of the meeting. So that is going to be basic. So, but sometimes, I mean, we're not ready, so we need to be ready just in case. I mean, we, you, you don't know if you are going to be the one who takes the minutes, but just in case, you always have to be ready. And then it says, at every meeting, that is going to be for Jessica Janari. Okay, teacher. At very meeting, at, the, at every meeting, there is some information that you need to record at every meeting. The same of your group and the day, time, and place of meeting. Apologize. Uh, this is a record of people who haven't been able to come to the meeting, but have let the meeting know that they won't be there. Don't record people who just haven't turned up. The names of any guest and which organization they're from. Detail of who is at the meeting. If it is a, a small meeting, list every, everyone by name. If it is a large meeting, know that Commit the commit the committee, the committee members and the total numbers of members present. Make up an attendance in attendance sheet in advance and pass this around for people to see. To sign. Sign. Sorry, sign. Good. What did you get from this one? It is it's really important to uh, all of the list and uh, detail because um, you you have to know what do you speak, what are you talking about it, and to record all of members of the of the meeting of, of, of people member. I think it's it's, it's really important. It I mean. It, uh, to um, what can I say? Uh, to record of uh, the date or point more important in every meeting. I think it's in it's not, it's not depending if it's a large meeting or short meeting. And you have to record every every kind of or principal point of the meeting. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. So that was very accurate. Keeping clear notes. This is for Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. Keeping clear notes. The road notes you take at the meeting are for your real use. So you can use abbreviations and organize them in any way you like. 
don't get too, too messy or obs obscure through a uh, you need to be able to make sense of them when you come you come to write things up organizing your notes in the following ways can help number each item and give it a, a heading leave a few line of a space between one item and the next so you have room to add other points if the discussion comes back to it later in the meeting underline or highlight decision and who has agreed to do what try dividing the page so you have a narrow column down one side for recording who has agreed to do what if you are using a loose left pad, number each pad, page. Good, what do you get in this one? Well, uh, the, the, the notes are very important because uh, maybe you, when you are in a meeting, you, you can, you didn't remember something, you didn't remember all the, the, the content or of the meeting. So the notes can help to, to remember you, what was in the meeting, what was the, the very important points. Uh, in, it is very important to, to ha organize in your notes because maybe if you have a, you, 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 can, you only can uh, a paper, get a paper and you, you write maybe on organizing ideas. And sometimes I, I, I have heard some coworker, for example, uh, I, I understand me, I, I, I will uh, maybe review the notes later and three or two or two or three days later, uh, he didn't remember about it because when he, he read the idea that he, he wrote in, in, in the page, he didn't remember what, what, is, what was about it. Uh, he didn't remember, so it's very important to to maybe have a uh, maybe following on the step that the, the the paragraph say. Okay, very good, perfect. So yes, that is very important. So we need to be clear. We need to organize everything inside. I mean, uh, some lines, divide the page, underline or highlight decisions and many things so everybody understands that right so next one says more on what you write down this is going to be for let's see oh and let's see how's it read juan miguel brand not possible okay let's see who has read roxana sends you Hi, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry. Can I participate then? Because I'm driving right now. Of course. Don't worry. Take uh, Be careful. Marcus. Okay. <clears throat> uh, more on what you write down. Remember, the most important things to get down are what has been decided and who is going to do it. Use simple, straightforward language. You want to be as clear as possible. Try to sum up the issues rather than write it down all the ins and outs of a discussion. For example, say several residents report this miss or lay rubbish collection. Rather than Mr. Jones said the rubbish was collected last week. Fred Brown said he wasn't either and Jane Green said there was was always late. Um, is, there, is there a discussion about an, an important subject? You might want to include some key point in the minute. For example, there was a long discussion about the rubbish service and the following points were made. You use the point, not who said them. If there, if there is a presentation or a talk, at the meeting, you don't need to minute the whole presentation. Just record that it took place. E.g. Jim Blue, the local housing officer, 
was welcomed to the meeting and gave a presentation on the repair service. Never say I saw or I said or use I at all. Minutes are not a personal record of your thoughts, but an official account of what was discussed and agreed. If, it's not, if it is not necessary to name everyone who spoke, sometimes it's useful to, for example, if they are presenting a report, but on the whole, it's better to think about what the main point is, rather than who said it. Remember that the minutes need to be understood by someone who wasn't at the meeting. So keep a bit of background. For example, the people in Hargreaves core were discussed by the rubbish in the street rather than they all thought it was disgusting. Only record what actually happened at the meeting. Don't include ad additional information you may gain since the meeting. Good. What did you get on this uh, part? Okay. Um, in this part, um, I list some points on tips to um, to get more benefit from what we can write down in the meeting. For example, uh, a use straightforward language is in, in order to be that clear. Uh, clear as possible, the better. And um, another thing is to to say the thing directly, not say, for example, I saw or I said or I, because we are saying things that we are agreed. So we are not hesitating about it. We have to say, yeah, I totally agree with that. Uh, and also, it's important to to say the things, um, to explain the things in order that people who is not would not attend attend at this meeting can understand all the points. Um where else? Uh, it's not necessary to name everyone because in order to to seize the time to get more benefit, to get advantage of all the time in the meeting. And also a good tip is to record the main points or the important points of the meeting, not the whole meeting, because sometimes people are talking about any topic that is not related with the topic, the main topic of the meeting. So that uh, part of the meeting is not important to be record. No, it's not necessary to be record. So some uh, there are some tips to to get more benefit to the write down practice in the meeting. Perfect, very good. So yeah, there are many tips here. At the end is like, be clear, uh, be concise, uh, present everything that is relevant, what has to be done, who is going to be in charge of, things like that one, right? Relevant things. And of course, uh, there are some very good tips on that one. So producing the finished version that is going to be for Francisco Eduardo. Not possible. Uh, Zuleima Yvonne? Hello, teacher. I'm here. Sorry. Oh, perfect, perfect. Go ahead, please, with producing the finished version. Okay, teacher. The most important thing is to write the minus, minus out quickly. Then put the job off for a week. It's make a few different if the meeting it's still fresh in your mind. It's possible to tie the minus up on a computer, separate off each item and give a and give give it a number in heaven. If you can tie the minus up, then just write them then up neatly. This real copies to the to commit members and anyone the commit has decided should be sent my notes, file a copy. The resource center, the computers you can use for typing, typing up your my notes. You can also get your minus printer 
shipping out of the century. Uh, minutes. Okay, very well. What did you understand on this uh, minutes Finnish version? Um, uh, I, I think uh, the most important is uh, keep in mind, uh, or oh, well, uh, in my work, uh, 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 last time uh, uh, ago, uh, I joined uh, or. or I uh, uh, was a part to the safety uh, safety committee, right, teacher? Mm -hmm. and, and and I, I doing uh, that the 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 minute in the in the meeting, and in in my case, uh, I try to uh, record the the meeting. Uh, in my cell phone, and after that, uh, I write in the the edge point, and 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 when the the meeting finish, uh, I do in the the report, and I send an email with uh, with the the all information, uh, and but the everyone uh, uh, approve the. The, doc, the final document and and, and say uh, the last the last version of the of, of the document the, the meeting okay very good perfect so yes i mean that is a good tip the one that you use i mean to record and then pay attention and just i mean the good thing is that you will be able to participate and don't worry about writing notes and then you will be able to listen to the uh, sound to the record and then uh, write the minutes. Uh, maybe the problem is that you need to invest double the time, but it's a good tip. It's a very nice thing. So depending on many things, you will be able to do something like that. Okay, agree in the minutes. Um, Suleyma Yvonne, uh, is it possible for you? Okay, let's see. Anna Claudia, is it possible for you? Is it working your microphone? Not possible. Juan Miguel Brand. Okay, Jose Rivas. Okay, uh, Andres Giovanni. Okay, teacher, agreeing uh, agree in the minutes. A lot of small groups work quite informally and don't go through the process of agreeing the minutes. The minutes are used as a simple record of decisions and reminder to, to members of tasks they have taken on. If you want to have a more formal structure, the current procedure is to have an item, item on the agenda called minutes of the last meeting. Members are given the opportunity to say if they think the minutes are inaccurate. If a correction is uncontroversial, like a misspelling of someone's name, this is just noted, noted and the minutes amended. If the connection is about a decision or action, then the meeting has the responsibility of agreeing what the, connect, what the correct record should be. Once the minutes of the meeting have been agreed as a correct record, they are signed by the chair and become the formal record of the meeting. If you are keeping minutes for larger, larger organization, we recommend you read the minutes takers handbook which is available in the resource center's ref reference library. Good, what did you get on this one? Uh, when it says minutes, it's about what, teacher? The minutes is the, I mean, when you are in a meeting, uh, somebody is taking note of all the decisions that everybody has agreed, uh, who is going to do things. I mean, it's everything that we have read about all this class. 
so it's going to be like uh, the notes and then at the end you need to send the minutes. Okay. Okay, let me check. It's like um, uh, in a meeting, the, they have to check what they are talking about before. And no, uh, the minutes, uh, if we move on at the beginning, you will see that uh, minutes are simply notes taken during the meeting to remind you what was discussed and agreed. Okay, so it's just uh -huh. like that. Notes that you take uh, when you are in a meeting. Somebody is in charge of that one. They take the notes and they send that via email to the, all the participants. So they check what, what decisions they made during the meeting and uh, who is going to make some actions, some tasks, when is going to be the next meeting, things like that. Okay. Yes, in that case, it's like uh, the the group of person that is part of the meeting have to agree, agree the minutes. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes there are some people that send the uh, email, let's say, for, with the minutes, and then uh, other people say, okay, I agree, or something like that, So, uh, or receive, at least. Uh, or if there is something that you need to correct, they send, hey, this is something that is not correct, and then you make an amendment. So something like that will be. Okay. Good. Some common problems. Uh, this is going to be for, let's see who has not read. Uh, almost everybody. Let's check. Okay, we're going to go to the second round. David. Sorry, I am mute. Some common problems. There are some things that makes every minute takers the difficult. Here are some of the most common problems. It is difficult to know exactly what has been agreed. No one is sticking to the point and a lot of different suggestions are being made about what to do. The discussion the discussion jumps from one item to another before any of them are finished. Everyone is talking at once and you can't follow the discussion. There is a long confusing discussion and uh, you don't know which bits are important to get down. You have been very involved in a particular issue and want to say things but can't minute at the same time. You are nervous about getting it right. Okay, what did you get on this? Uh, <laughs> I imagine I, I have to do this role in, in many times in, in my past work, in my past job. I, I, I do something like that. I go with my chief uh, many meetings and I, I was in chair, so I take notes. And when we go back to the office, the, the chief or the boss tell me what was uh, discussed in the meeting and I, I need to remember everything. <laughs> and I need to take note of everything and uh, I, I know what is the problem. It is, uh, everybody's talking, uh, we don't know what, what was the agreement because uh, they jump to the next side and, and, and it's, it's difficult, but uh, the person needs to be so concentrated that don't have the time to, to give her opinion or to give her bow because it is in charge of the notes and, and if they are uh, thinking about what they need to see, they need to say, uh, don't have the time to take notes. There is a, 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 a important, important word, important task that need to be done and uh, the people in church need to be concentrated. Very good. So that happens. I mean, uh, some people might believe that it's a kind of an easy thing. That depends on the meeting and the people that are involved. But sometimes, I mean, 
everybody's talking, there is no, not an organization, you don't know at the end who is right, who's wrong, or what is the conclusion of a topic, many things might be happening. So that is so true. But we have some solutions on this one. Let's see, Juan Miguel Brand. Hey teacher, I'm here, thank you. Okay. Some solutions, okay? Yep. Some solutions. If a meeting is well run, it makes taking minutes much easier. It's the chair's job to keep the meeting in order, but they can only do this with the cooperation of everyone at the meeting. It is really helpful to have, to have a clear agenda for the meeting and for this to be followed during the meeting. One idea is to discuss and agree together some guidelines by which you run your meetings. Some common guide, guidelines are not interrupting, putting your hand up if you want to talk, not having side conversations and keeping to the agenda item under discussion. Feel free to point out that it's impossible to take minutes if everyone is talking at once and not following the agenda. If it's not clear what decision has been made, ask the chair to clarify this. It is useful to, for the minute taker to sit next to the chair so that you can work together easily. Discuss the agenda with the chair before the meeting. The clearer, the clearer you are about the content of the meeting, the easier it is to minute it. Go through your minutes with the chair after the meeting. It can be helpful to check through what you've written with someone else. If you are concentrating on taking minutes, it does limit how much you can join in the meeting. It goes with the job. If there is an item where you have been centrally involved and have a lot to say, think about asking someone else to take minutes, to take minutes just for that item. Don't worry if your minutes if your minutes are not perfect. They are working, they are a working tool and like everything, it, get, it gets easier the more you do it. Perfect, what did you get on this one? Uh, they are, uh, the lesson for the reading is talking about uh, solutions about uh, when you are in a meeting, okay? So especially, if you are the minute taker, I think, yeah? Yeah. So uh, the minute taker, he, his job or his duty is uh, obviously just or in, a, in, in an ideal situation, just this work is for this person, but uh, uh, the, the reality uh, is, many times not like this, okay? Uh, but there are uh, obviously some solutions or some alternatives in order to, to take this job uh, the best that you can. Uh, for example, uh, ask uh, if uh, some decision is not uh, clear at all, uh, to ask for other people. Uh, they are talking about the chair, for the chair, okay? Um, maybe sitting next to this person, to the chair, in order to work together, uh, to have a better uh, relation in order to take the, the, the meeting for, the good, for a good uh, way. Um, if it's possible, also uh, know the agenda before uh, before the meeting, so you know what uh, what are all the, uh, for example, all the points in the in the meeting, in order to, uh, for example, to uh, establish. A, the time for every topic. Um, I, I think those ideas. Uh -huh. 
Very good, perfect. So yes, there are many things here that we can take in consideration. So whenever we are taking the minutes, you are going to do a very good job. Of course, you can provide feedback. For example, I mean, yeah, you are right. Maybe it's a good idea to sit next to the chair uh, person. So, and uh, both, I mean, you are going to be in control of the notes and then he's going to be in control of the meeting itself. So, um, well, I believe that yes, sometimes it's difficult, but in the most of the cases it shouldn't because I mean, we are businessmen, right? This is an ex example of a minute. So, it says minutes of Meridale Community Association meeting held on Thursday, 28th February, 2002, from 7 to 9 p.m. Look how explicit, how detailed is the topic, right? Present at meeting. So the people that are going to be there and their, their roles. I mean, this is the chair, this is the treasurer, the secretary, and uh, we have the other 22 members of this association. So. I mean, it's very complete, right? Councilor Roe Price and Jeff Baron from House and Services were also at the meeting. So these people are not part of the committee, but they were also there, okay? They have a role there. Uh, and this the, they, like uh, in, invited people, yeah, maybe? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. probably something like that. It says from House and Services, so maybe it's related with some decisions that they were going to make, right? And of course, this is the agenda that they sent in advance. Remember that we have to send the agenda so everybody understand what is going to be the meeting about. So number one, apologies for absence. So the one who were not able to do it, we say why they are not there, right? Minutes of the last meeting, as we say before, uh, yeah, if we have some follow-ups, if we have to to check on some points on the last meeting, of course, we need to check on the one, but it has to be kind of kind of fast, right? Open day, says the local youth center is holding an open day on Wednesday, March 13 at the community center, 10 a.m. from, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mary Tyler and John Curtis say they will be attending. So this is like the information they discuss. They provide the information about the open day. Treasurer's report. Uh, the treasurer, Jan Curtis, reported that the association has 456 pounds in the bank and 32.87 in pity cash, making a total of 488.87. So it's like an inform, a report that the treasurer makes. Then arrangements for the AGM. The secretary Andrew Brown reported that the community center has been booked for the 8th May. There will be a social and buffer after the AGM business is over. George Grant and Carol Parsons offered to organize the buffet action. Carol to organize the buffet for the AGM. So you can see when you read the minute, you know what happened. You know what was discussed. Who is going to do something? Okay. Um, so that if we read this one, we know exactly what was happening there. The only thing that is missing is to put some faces on the names. But other than that, Everything is very, very specific. Summer fun day, it was agreed to organize a summer outing to Thorpe Park during the school summer holidays. Young Cordis will investigate the price of coaches and the details will be discussed at the next meeting. Action, Jan to investigate coach prices and report back to next meeting. So that is very specific. Date of next meeting, as we say, that should be uh, one of the last ones. So. The next meeting is on Thursday, 28 March, 2002 in the community center. So this is just an example, right? Maybe, uh, I mean, maybe it's going to be shorter, maybe it's going to be larger, maybe it's going to be more specific, depending on the meeting, but minutes is like a radiography of a meeting. What happened? What we discussed? Who say what thing? Uh, who agreed? There was no agreement what we need to do the next step. So things like that. Good, do you have any questions about this part? No questions, that sounds good. So now we're gonna check the attendance and then my friends, we are going to practice everything that we have learned this week. So Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez, 
Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. I'm here, teacher. Good. Present. Nice. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. Good. Zulaima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Very well, perfect. So this week, my friends, we have discussed about uh, what is a business meeting, uh, how to create an agenda, uh, how to manage, how to chair a meeting, how to make everybody to participate and agree, uh, how to close a meeting, how to create the minutes of the meeting. So right now, what we are going to do is this. We're going to have a meeting. I mean, we're going to make some groups. We're going to go to some breakup rooms and then we're going to discuss. And the meeting is going to be about how can we learn English better? How can be more proficiency? How can be more fluent? How can we improve pronunciation, grammar, anything related with English? What activities can we do? Uh, what can we do so we can improve that one? At the end of the meeting, uh, you are going to come and tell me either the agenda or the minutes of uh, the meeting and check what you agree, okay? Do you have any question with the activity? Can you repeat the topics, please, teacher? Yes, the topic is going to be how can we improve English? as students, as we are learning. So, and you can discuss many things. I mean, you can tell how can we improve grammar? How can we improve pronunciation? How can we improve fluency? How can we improve listening skills? Anything that is related with that one, how to improve English in general, we are going to discuss that one and bring at the end of the, of the meeting, we're going to uh, provide the, the minutes. Uh, or the agenda. It's better the minutes because it, it contains the decisions, right? Uh, so what are the recommendations? What can we do so we can improve English? Is that clear? Uh, do you have any questions? No, teacher, it's clear. Perfect. So the time has come to practice and check everything that we have learned. So I'm gonna make some breakup rooms as I was telling you, and uh, I will be there uh, in the room. So you, if you have some questions, if you want to provide any, any ideas, or if you want to ask me something, I will be there, okay? And remember that everybody needs to participate and also that you are going to bring at the end, the minutes of the, of the meeting, okay? That is very important. That is going to be like, as we say before, like the radiography of the whole thing, the, the, uh, the agreements, the decisions that we're gonna make, okay? So let me see, we're 20, let's see. Like this, okay, here we go.
Okay. Okay, what do you think, Dora, about the topic? Well, uh, who uh, write down the agenda? Um, I'm not able to. I'm not working tomorrow. Okay. Well, um, maybe uh, we can start with uh, some activities to improve. Maybe it. Uh, videos in, uh, in YouTube. YouTube or TV. And use, uh, uh, well, TV, TV, English. TV, uh -huh. but uh, it's easy. I think is the most one of the most important things. Teacher, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. We were talking about the 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 instruction or the guidance that you gave us uh, earlier because uh, Ilian and Fernando, I think they weren't uh, able to 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 hear. Oh, perfect. I can repeat. Not a problem. That's why please, I'm please. Yeah. I listened part of the instructions, but uh, uh, I missed the, the rest of the. Oh, don't worry. I can repeat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so what you are going to do is like create a meeting. So you are in a meeting right now and you are going to, I mean, the main topic of the meeting is how can we, uh, as students, can we improve English? And you can speak about different parts of English. I mean, for example, how can you improve your pronunciation? How you can improve uh, learning vocabulary? Or how can you improve uh, fluency in English? Things like that one. And uh, what is going to happen is that you are going to have this meeting. You are going to agree on some points. And at the end, you are going to show, present, or tell to the whole class the minutes of the agenda, I mean, the minutes of the of the meeting. So what the agreements you were, if you were going to work together, if you agreed on doing these activities or these other activities, something like that. Okay. Do you okay. have any question about that? No, it's now, teacher, thank you. No, thank you, teacher. Perfect, it's a pleasure.
some words, some phrase numbers, or some idioms. So it's very, very useful. Yes. In Twitter too, in Twitter there are uh, many pages with a uh, uh, help uh, Perdimos a Heidi. I'm right here. Ah, okay. okay. I was I was saying no. that we should use there are several options. We should use at least one a day. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Very good. So are you almost done? Do you need like five, ten more minutes for you to write the uh, the minutes and make decisions about this one? Yeah, teacher, we are making the decisions right now. Okay, very well, take your time, don't worry. Thank you. Okay. We, you can improve your English talking in class every time you are asked to do it. Taking notes and reading again the information was there and reading. The more poor people have ways to, to set the things and that may be for for people that like like
Hello, have you finished already? Yes, we have. Yes, oh. sir. Perfect. So let me just check with the other uh, groups and then we're going to go back, okay? Okay. okay. Have you finished already? Yes. Perfect. So give me just a few seconds and then we go back, okay? Okay. Very difficult because there is no separation in the between the words. Uh, they join all the words, and for that reason, it's very difficult to understand. It is easy to to read, but to understand is is not so easy. Okay, this our this is our minute. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go back. Uh, everybody is going to go back, and then you can share. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. native language and start to, to just to thinking and speaking in, in the other language, no matter what language is. Obviously here in English, but if you are learning some other language, eh, just to stop eh, thinking in Spanish and try to, to speak in, in, in the other language. Oh, have you finished already? Yeah, teacher, I think. Perfect. So we're going to go back so we can share, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody, so let's see how it goes. We're going to now share the minutes of the meeting and you are going to tell everybody what are your findings, what are the decisions, what are the recommendations that you have so everybody improves a little bit more in English. On the first group, we had Dora, Fernando, Gonzalez, Jose Wilfredo, and Marcos Ayala. I don't know if everybody's going to participate or just one, but you decide. Uh, I think in this case, uh, I'll be the only one who participated because I write down the, the minutes. Perfect. So tell us about now. Perhaps if you have... in, the, in the meantime, in the, in the classmate will participate if they want. Okay. If they want to add. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, the place is a uh, virtual meal. The attendees, Marcos Yala, Dora Lisa, Jose Wilfredo, Fernando Gonzalez. Uh, and the topic is how we can improve our English. Uh, the, the first the minute that we agree is practicing speaking every day with other people or by ourselves. The second, by listening to music and singing songs to practice speaking and learn vocabulary in a funny way. And also the third one is 
by inscribing in an English course and practicing speaking with classmates. Uh, that means to participate during the class. Um, the for the deck is by watching series in English and read the subtitle in English to in order to understand all the sentence. And the final will be set goals of quantity of vocabulary per week. That means learn unknown words and use them in sentence. Yeah, so that is it? Yeah. Yes. Good Very well. And uh, are you going to participate? Are you going to try that individually or you are going to send messages to, to help people? Uh, what else did you agree or is it just that? So just the ideas for, for everybody to. Yes, yeah, we are agreeing in just those ones. Okay, uh, perfect. Okay. Good. Anybody else is from the group wants to add anything else? Hey, teacher. Okay. Uh, like I say, my partner, we were discussing about technique and one technique that I, I apply in my life is talk, 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 even with myself. Um, Sometimes I try to translate, I don't know, some, some mail. And other technique that lately I, I have applied is watching series in, in English with the title in English. That helped me uh, to understand some words that I know that in the, in the, when native speaker use in, in a fast way, I don't understand the word. But when I read, I say, oh, I know. But um, I think that I need to create an, a habit to hear that word. And so in the future, I hope I will be able to get that word fast. That's it. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, that is true. I mean, sometimes it's difficult when you are watching a video, it's difficult to get some some words and some ideas, but whenever you do the closed caption or the subtitles, you see that you know the word. So, ah, you say, oh, now I recognize that word. That is true. You know, uh, in my own opinion, it's very difficult to understand when you are watching cartoons. Cartoons, I mean, since you don't see the way they speak, right? And sometimes the uh, the Very voices fast. are kind of half fast and with certain tone of voice is sometimes difficult to get what they're saying. Yeah. That is crazy because it's uh, for kids, right? Difficult to understand uh, Rick from Rick and Mort. Oh, read. Yeah, I they speak very nothing. fast, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they speak very fast. So that is that is a difficult one. Yeah. Yeah, in the in his Afghan because he is so old man, you know, it's complicated. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. Those things for me are kind of very difficult, you know. I don't know why, but <laughs> and yeah. that that happens. Very good. Thank you for your feedback and your opinion. Thank you for the group number one. On the group number two, we had Francisco, Eduardo, Heidi, Salguero, and Roxana Asensio. I don't know if everybody or one person is going to share. Well, uh, I can start. Okay. Um, the first one, uh, we was talking about some important points to keep in mind to improve. Uh, for example, uh, the first one, talking with others. Uh, maybe some coworkers or uh, in our case or our sons or some friends and we can uh, share some information in WhatsApp or in a call. And then watching serious news or something in English, but using subtitles because uh, some people try to uh, use that uh, tools, but they always are watching the series, for example, watching the series, 
but uh, with a translation in, in Spanish. And if you are um, think uh, or if you if you watch the translation, la, la trans qué? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the translation, sorry. yeah, the subtitles so, yeah. in Spanish. Okay, yeah, the translation is very different sometimes. So the thing is that when you try to improve your English, you have to, to get new words and you have to uh, use the subtitles to understand maybe the grammar and repeat, uh, if it's possible, repeat uh, some parts to try to memorize or try to understand the pronunciation. But it's important to use subtitles in English. Subtitles. Not in Spanish, subtitles in, in English. And then uh, another uh, point, important point is using some apps. Uh, you know, uh, in the Play Store or maybe in, Internet, in the internet, you have some uh, apps and you can download in your cell phone and try to uh, speak with natives uh, or with uh, um, people that knows uh, English. And you can uh, chat with them or uh, establish a conversation, a real conversation. And the other, is try to memorize verbs, slags, phrasal verbs, for example, because uh, you know uh, the information is a lot, but it's important when you try to memorize some difficult or some uh, complex information, because not always you uh, have the um, maybe the, the correct answer because uh, you, you can't, um, you can't uh, como improvisar. Improvise. Because you can't improvise because you need to use a real word. For example, uh, irregular verbs are maybe, are very uh, difficult to, to, to memorize them because uh, you always uh, thinking in regular verbs. So, but irregular verbs are very, very uh, much and you need to memorize them. Frustral verbs is the same and slag is very important because uh, when you travel uh, another country, uh, the others use them a lot. And you can understand that because you don't know, you don't have the knowledge about that. And if you um, are watching some uh, movies or uh, series, you, you notice that because they use a lot slacks. And maybe when you think in Spanish, you can get the idea because they not have sense in Spanish or the translation doesn't have sense, but it's important because uh, the American people always are using them. And we add uh, listen in uh, English song. And for me, it's important to uh, start with a little change like uh, change the language in your cell phone. You know, uh, maybe in the first um, time it was very uh, uncomfortable, but now if you are a busy person in your work and your daily activities, maybe if you change your cell phone, you can now a basic word that maybe you you don't you you forgot, and always we can um, learn new words. And finally, uh, we was talking about that it's important 
make uh, some decision uh, like this. Maybe if you are uh, always very busy, you can take some minutes and use at least one of the of them, uh, the point that I was talking, because uh, it's possible if it is if it's possible uh, it's scribe in a extra course like this, you can improve more. Uh, but if you don't have a lot of time, maybe uh, you can take some minutes and use some of that uh, points or uh, a little uh, instructions to improve your English. And another, in, uh, in addition, sorry, um, maybe if you spend time in your social media watching uh, memes or memes. web page, yeah. Maybe you can follow a English page and you can uh, watch, watching, you, you always can watch in, uh, English uh, videos or English memes. Memes. <laughs> memes, yeah. And maybe it's, a little change, but that change can be a big change in the future. Okay, that very is. good. Perfect, thank you. Anybody else wants to add anything else? Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you to group number two. Number three, uh, we had there Andres Giovanni, David Samuel Galdames, uh, Erwin Lagos. So who wants to share information? Uh, we are not able to listen to you. It was me, sorry. No worries. Okay, I, I, will, I will start and my partners will talk in, in their turn. Okay. The day was October 21. The purpose of the meeting was we, what we can do as students to improve our English. The attendees, participants are Igor Nagos, Andres Valdivieso, Portillo, and David Galdames, I don't know, Valdivieso is with an S or with an C? <laughs> with an S is correct. Okay, thank you. Andres, your turn, read, read your, your participation. Okay, uh, I suggest that we can use uh, technology to watch videos on YouTube and use streaming and cable TV to watch movies and shows in English listen to podcasts and use apps like Duolingo, Elsa Speaks and others. Watching videos can improve your listening and with apps you can improve talking, writing and listening. Okay. Excellent. Irwin, your turn. Hello, Irwin, are you there? So, go ahead. You can improve your English talking in class every time you are asked to do it. Take notes and read again the information was shared, asking questions to the teacher about grammar topics of a specific pronunciation of difficult words. Excellent. And uh, my participation, uh, we can create the groups of reading and conversation with them. And this time, then we can uh, uh, do it by uh, internet. Uh, we can make group in Zoom or everybody can <laughs> make a group of Zooms or, or in another uh, streaming uh, way to take time to speak from a different time from the class. Uh, we can uh, work with a specific topic. We agree what we topic we we want to discuss and be prepared for that. Or oh, we can do something like a, a reading club, and we can take some novels, some books, 
or we can speak about TV shows, uh, those TV shows in, in, in streaming on cable, and uh, this kind of thing that uh, lead us to, to speak because uh, the first the first things we need to do is to speak. Uh, speak is very important, and I think it's one of the more difficult part of uh, our English uh, class. And uh, uh, everybody, everyone uh, agreed with these three ideas. It is uh, that are important, and we see that they are practical, useful, and effective. That is oh, teacher. Perfect. Very nice. It was impressive. Thank you for the um, the minutes were very good, and also the ideas. Thank you very much. So the last one is Ana Claudia, Fernando, Iliana, and Juan Miguel. I don't know who's gonna. Share. Okay, teacher. Uh, we were talking with uh, Fernando and Ileana, and I think uh, Ana Claudia was just listening because she had issues with the audio. Yeah. So yeah, the participants uh, were Fernando, Ileana, Ana Claudia and myself, Miguel, uh, we were talking about what we can do in order to improve our English level. Uh, Fernando was talking about um, his, he has some issues with the intonation when he is reading. Uh, and he were talking about, uh, he was talking about, sorry, um, um, in repeating some paragraphs, uh, reading these uh, paragraphs in order to uh, um, like uh, to find the best intonation and to find the, the sense of that of that paragraph. Uh, also, he he talked about uh, to translate words in a notebook uh, in order to to remember what. Uh, what this word uh, is, uh, his meaning. Uh, he talked about uh, using apps like Duolingo uh, or some apps related uh, to this, uh, when he, or where they uh, can, um, um, how to say, they track your progress. So. If you lose one day, for example, they remember you, hey, you lose one day and you lost your points until this day, for example. And those apps deliver to you content every day and remember you that you have to practice your English. So this is what Fernando was talking about. Ileana, his, uh, her participation was in order to expand the, the, the vocabulary, practicing at least 10 minutes per day. Uh, obviously, uh, besides expand your vocabulary, in, uh, it's also to improve the pronunciation and makes you, um, makes you um, sound more fluent and more like a, like a pro, not like a professional in, in, in the in the in the sense of the word, instead like a like a native, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, um, she talked about to listen to music, uh, to follow uh, some accounts with professional profiles, uh, for example, in TikTok. Uh, where they deliver you some content. Uh, <clears throat> for example, you say hi, but they uh, deliver content to you related to okay, you say hi, but you can you can say uh, or you can salute from um, uh, from another way, not just hi. Instead, hey, how are you? To to sound more like a native. Um, 
and try to think in English and not in Spanish. Because sometimes uh, we think in Spanish and we try to, um, to translate what we are thinking in Spanish and in English. In, in English. And uh, this situation uh, could take uh, not many more minutes, but uh, a few seconds, or uh, the way that you sound in Spanish is not the same way that uh, you sound in English, or, or the, the paragraph or the word have the same sense uh, if you translate exactly, yeah? Uh, so, this is one advice from Liana. Try to think in English and not in Spanish. For me, eh, I was talking about the, my my issue or the or my major problem is the listening. So I was eh, watching some TV shows in Spanish, but with closed captions or with subtitles in in English, in order to compare what they are talking about with the uh, with the subtitle so um sometimes they they uh, the the tv shows don't translate uh, just exactly but uh, they for example they uh, show you a phrase related to what they are talking about in english uh, what they're talking about in spanish but in english in in the subtitles is a, a phrase related to or this or the most uh, um how to say this the most close to the translation uh, obviously listening to music but uh, i i was talking about music with um or music like rap or hip hop where the vocabulary is uh, fast and very fluent, yeah? And uh, as a conclusion, there are many ways to improve our English level, but it will be depend uh, or what, what do you want or what will you do depends uh, uh, from what you, in what, what is the thing that you want to improve. Uh, if you are trying to improve your uh, listening or your reading or your maybe your uh, uh, um, your interpretation of the things yeah it 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 depends or it would it will depend uh, what is your issue and for for the issue you have to find the better way to 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 overcome the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, nice tips and um, thank you for sharing. I don't know if anybody else wants to add anything else. Yeah, I don't know if Fernando or Liana. No, everything is covered, teacher. Thank okay. you, Juan Miguel. Perfect. Okay, uh, you're welcome, guys. Thank you. So all the tips are very, very good, very interesting, and. Uh, Yes, uh, well, this is something that we have discussed before. So it's important for us to, uh, I mean, we know here when we speak uh, together, we know that we are in different levels, right? So it's very easy for us to improve our English. Of course, it takes time, patience, dedication, uh, many things, but there are many good ways for us to improve. As you say, for example, watching videos in YouTube, but having fun. I mean, if you study English, uh, sometimes, yes, it's good to, to learn some grammar and things, but sometimes you can have fun. Yeah, for example, I'm gonna show you one video right now that is a very short one. Um, things like that, I mean, is good enough. So I'm gonna show you and then you tell me what you got on this. It never works, so I don't know why. Let me just refresh. You are not sharing the sound, teacher.
the sound in the app. Teacher, the sound, you're not sharing the, the sound. Okay, let me just do the little trick here. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes it happens as well, but I can fix that. Okay, I'm gonna start all of them. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> so I get a letter in the mail from my old high school and it's like, you know, time for the reunion. My girlfriend saw the letter. She's like, ooh, your reunion. I go, yeah, my reunion. When is it? When are we going? Um, actually, I was, I was going to take my friend Tony because, you know, we went to high school together. He's my best friend since high school, so I was going to take Tony. You're going to take Tony instead of me. That's what's going to happen, huh? You're going to take Tony instead of me. Your girlfriend, you're going to take Tony. No. It's okay. It's okay. You take Tony, okay? And I hope you have a great time. Oh, thanks. I knew you'd understand, <laughs> baby. I love you. Don't ask too many questions, you know what I mean? So my buddy Tony and I, we go to a high school reunion. We get there early, too early. There's nobody in the banquet hall. So we go upstairs to the bar area. We're watching a basketball game. Everything is cool until some guy recognized me. Hey, you're the comedian. What's up, dude? Dude, funny, bro. Let me buy you a shot. Actually, man, um, I have my reunion right now, and, and I, I don't want to show up drunk. Oh, I see how it is, bro. You're too good, huh? That's what, it, that's what it is, huh? Excuse me, George Lopez. <laughs> Let's do the stupid shot. All right, bartender shot. So he freaking makes a double. And we freaking cling, cling, and slammed it. I'm like, oh, oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Let's do another one. Oh, <laughs> hey, man, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. See how it is, Paul Rodriguez. Let's do another shot. <laughs> and he kept this pattern going. He must have had like seven comedians behind his freaking wallet, you know? One after another. I got so drunk. I could, it was that level of drunk where you can't even walk straight. You got to look at the ground to navigate, you know? You're just kind of... <sighs> <sighs> I get to the reunion. There's a lady at a table, and she's got stickers on the table that say, Hello, my name is... And then with a Sharpie, you write your name. I was so drunk, I couldn't even write Gabriel. I wrote flaco, <laughs> which is Spanish for skinny. So, you know, I freaking write that, stick it on, and we walk in. The party's going on, you know. I'm trying to find a table. My buddy Tony took off. I couldn't find him. I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, the lights come up, and the class president is holding the microphone. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Wilson High School class reunion. Let's just cut to the chase, find out what everyone's been up to, and keep the party rocking. So she pulls out a list. Who's done this? Who's done that? Who has the most children? Some girl in the back. Seven. Everybody's like, puta. <laughs> now you remember. Okay. Yeah, it's everybody. All right? She keeps going down the list. Who's done this? Who's done that? Who? Who's been on television? Everybody at my table who wasn't talking to me before, you know, they weren't talking to me before. Now they're like, chuk, 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 right here, right here, right here. I'm like, no, I'm drunk, no, shh. <laughs> sure enough, here comes the girl. Oh, we have a celebrity over here. Come on, say something. Get up here, Flaco. Come on, Flaco, get up here. No, 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 I'm okay. Oh, come on, get up here. Are you too good or what? So I got mad and I jumped up. I'm not too good. Um, everybody, my name is Gabriel, G Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> um, I don't want to say a whole lot right now because I've been drinking and I don't want to say nothing stupid. Um, it's really nice. Okay, I don't want to get more of your time by now, but I mean, there are many, many things that you can do. Um, on YouTube, on applications, and many things that you will be able to to listen, to have fun, to learn new things. There are a lot of courses. There are a lot of um, a lot of things that you can learn. I mean, you can join. You can really, really enjoy uh, in not doing like a like a class, right? Like something like this is the grammar or some other thing. So that is something that we can do. So whenever you have the time, so we can give it a shot.
Okay, my friends, so we're going to finish the first week of the class and I'm going to check the attendance. So, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. For you is the 101 today, Fernando. Okay. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. En 200 pesos. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Eh, Suleyma Ipón Moreno de Hernández. Entra ahí por ahí. Present. Good. Oh. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to... I'm sorry, who's here? Ganari. Okay, perfect. Got you. Nice. Present, so, teacher. Me too. Ileana, okay. sorry. Perfect. Got you. Yeah. So it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a nice weekend. See you next Monday and dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello, Fernando. How are you? Uh, I'm a little tired, but I am doing my best. <laughs> Yeah, I know sometimes it's very difficult because you come from your job and then the family and then the English class and many things. So we know it's very difficult, but it's good. I mean, you're moving on and that is the most important part. So good. So uh, of course you have um, experience already with 101. So the first question is, do you have any questions about this class or the pre previous classes or the previous modules? No, for me, uh, I understand. I understand how, how this is program, how this is methodology. Uh, I have experience uh, in this course. Uh, I am. I I am. I started at uh, basic three. Basic three. Since basic basic three, I am here, and for, we we have some coworkers or or mates that we. We were in in a different group, but that group, um, I don't know what happened. And I have to. We had to to wait for this group to to join us because uh, we we don't have the we don't have the the the, the how do you say the the participants. The, we, we don't we were not enough for. Uh, for open a new group. I see. Well, but it's very good that you are able to continue. So, and the good thing is that this is an advanced three. So um, it's just a few more and you are gonna finish. So that is very, very good. Like, Sorry it, for my dog is barking. <laughs> oh no, don't worry here with pet friendly. So we really love dogs and cats and any pet that you might have. So that's good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the next question I have for you is, um, how do you feel that you are moving on with the English class? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are getting some things? Mm, yes, to be honest, I I, I feel that uh, I am a little stuck in my uh, my learning 
but it's, it's, it's a, because maybe I know I have to spend more time to learn new words, to learn, um, to practice, to practice uh, maybe new vocabulary. Uh, in, my, in my job, I, I have to, re to read all in English because uh, I am a developer. So when I, I am researching about maybe a new future that I have to implement in an application, I have to, re to read how to do that or what is the documentation, the official documentation for implementing the different capabilities on, on an app. So I have to read and I understand read, but it's, it's uh, reading and maybe my my bigger problem is uh, speaking and stop thinking in, in, in Spanish. Uh, when, I am, when I am talking, I am translating the words in my head, and I, I, and I am I am limited with my with the words that I that I know. I, I know we have to to learn different words to say this the, to say this the same uh, maybe sentences in different ways. But I I have maybe my I I use the same words. Uh, and I try, I try to, to speak with the word that I know. Okay, very well. So yes, uh, that is something that happens. I mean, to everybody that has happened. My best advice for you to try to avoid that one actually is to stop thinking in, uh, in Spanish. Try to think everything in English. Little by little, you will be able to move on, right? And you can continue practicing in different ways, like watching videos, like reading books or any other things. So that is a very good thing. But you are doing very well. I mean, when you read, we understand very well. Your pronunciation is pretty good. So if you continue, definitely everything will be fine. Yes, I am trying to do it because uh, maybe my my goal is uh, to get a, a, maybe a opportunity or job opportunity from USA. Uh, you know, in my in my area, uh, maybe I can get a better salary than the the, the company in Salvador. It's different, and if, if I I know English and I have experience as a a developer, that in in USA maybe uh, I might earn it three or four uh, times my uh, actual salary. So that is my goal. <laughs> Very good. I know that you will make it. I mean, your English is pretty good. And if you continue, definitely it's going to be, you're going to achieve your goal. So also remember that um, if you have questions, you can chat with me directly or you can do it in the uh, group or chat or in the class. Definitely it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So it was a pleasure to be with you. So see you next Monday and have a very nice weekend. Okay. Good night. Good night.